In the world of IoT solutions today, developers are quite simply spoilt for choice. In this webinar, we'll look at how ST Microelectronics is supporting the growth of IoT and the company's various existing and future wireless solutions. And my guide is Hakim Jafar. Hakim. Hi, Chris. Thanks. You're right. Today, there is a lot of technology out there. It's really important for a customer to make the choice and to know how to select the right one. In ST Microelectronics, in the latest 18 months, we have rolled out a lot of solutions like the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth Mesh, the Zigbee, the Thread, the LoRa, the Sigfox. We do have some partnership for cellular as well. So in ST, what we want to do is to offer a customer an easy turnkey solution, right, to jump into this massive IoT. It's important to understand that IoT means security as well. The more devices out there, the more hacking is potential, will potentially exist, right? So in ST, the, the security comes from the beginning of the project. So all our devices are what we could call IoT ready, right? And how do you counter the potential threat of conflict between all these new technologies? The idea here is to offer our customer an easy way to selecting and implementing the right technology. We do this with our ecosystem, with our technical library, and with all our hardware tool and solution. Right, let's get going then. Here's an update from Benjamin Guillou. Thanks, Chris. So to get started, what is the STM32WL and what is the added value for you, the customer? Well, the STM32WL is the world's first LoRa-enabled system on chip. This means that a best-in-class ultra-low power STM32L4 architectural basis and a LoRa-enabled radio are embedded on the same silicon die. So the key points to keep in mind about such breakthroughs are the following ones. First of all, the chip is multi-modulation capable, meaning it's compatible with LoRa modulation, of course, but also with GFSK, GMSK and BPSK. This means further compatibility with proprietary protocols and various standardized ones, such as LoRaWAN, of course, or Sigfox, for instance. Secondly, the deep integration factor of the long-range wireless STM32WL definitely leads to massive cost savings in terms of bill of materials, as it helps users to move from a dual-chip approach, MCU plus radio transceiver, to a single silicon device. Thirdly, the STM32WL is sold in a fully open way, meaning end users will always have the possibility to implement whatever protocol they want onto it. It thus provides a huge applicative flexibility. Of course, we made sure STM32WL is ready for the Internet of Things, as usual safety and security features have been implemented inside the chip. We could think, for example, of anti-temper, firmware IP protection capabilities, or AES 256 bits, to name just a few. Last but not least, we hit the market in January 2020 with a BGS73 package, but other packages will come down the road, always with our 10 years longevity commitment. So let's have a look at our multicast of a LoRaWAN demonstration. Let's imagine we are right now in a retail store. We have today in front of us two different groups of three STM32WL each. They represent our customers' devices' fleets, or rather sub-fleets, I should say, Group A and Group B. Each of these STM32WL boards has an e-paper mounted on it, showing a price tag. Group A represents several price tags for umbrellas, and Group B represents tags for books. All these devices are able to communicate on LoRaWAN network. In the framework of this demonstration, LoRaWAN frames, uplink and downlink are exchanged through our commercially available and STM32F7 based development gateway. On the network side, everything runs on Actility's ThinkPark suite of LoRaWAN core network software enriched with ThinkPark reliable multicast server. We have created a dedicated graphic user interface to update pricing independently. So now, if I select a 20% discount on the umbrella group and update the pricing, we can notice only the related group is being updated. Same story with the book group, let's apply a 50% discount. Here again, only the corresponding tags are updated. So that's the basic idea of multicast over LoRaWAN, being able to dynamically associate whatever devices to a fleet and update your different fleets as you wish on the same network. So in case you had any doubt about LoRaWAN multicast really happening, 
This fully functional demonstration on Actility's remote servers with our commercially available STM32WL microcontrollers is showing how we match a market need with concrete use cases. Naturally, today's demonstration is fully compliant with LoRa Alliance recommendation for multicast inside the LoRaWAN standards. And last but not least, I guess you are wondering where you can get the STM32WN microcontrollers. Well, that's very easy. For now, you just need to contact your local sales office and ST Sales and Marketing will be able to grant you access right to STM32WN chip orders, plus also to our introductory ecosystem, which is constituted of nuclear board software tools and our production-ready and worldwide certified LoRaWAN stack for STM32WL. Of course, as usual, everything will be available at distribution level in a few months from now for mass market release. That's it from me, but here's Nathalie Valespin who will show us how to combine long range and short range technology. Thanks, Benjamin. So, we see more and more traction in the home automation markets. Whether it be connected home or small buildings, our everyday life is greatly facilitated by the creation of easy and accessible user-friendly interfaces. Home automation application enables us to manage large numbers of devices connected through a network based on Zigbee technology, which is today proven solution widely adopted. This amount of devices represents a widespread of potential uses like lighting, heating or presence control. With this network of 80 devices, we are showing how the STM32WB55 product is perfect to support such a complex configuration. And here I should highlight that it is a Zigbee certified platform. Its large memory can sustain wide network as well as allowing fleet management with over-the-air updates. Security mechanism proposed in the STM32WB prevents from cloning and are also protecting IPs. Dual-core architecture of the STM32WB with a dedicated core to the radio activity is well adapted to manage real-time execution for both radio communication and user application with no compromise on user experience. Our smartphones or tablets, for example, are like a bridge to interact between connected home and human and are, for example, the first interface we can use to interact with a local network. This is the reason why both Zigbee and Bluetooth Low Energy have been combined to allow user interaction to pilot Zigbee network through a mobile phone. Our STM32WB embeds both technologies and the concurrent mode allows the router to discuss either Zigbee to the AT devices panel, either in BLE to the mobile. The mobile here is the entry port to configure the panel. The selected pattern configuration is sent to the router node through Bluetooth communication, can then switch to Zigbee technology to spread the pattern configuration to the AT device of the Zigbee network. So here I should highlight the cellular technology in this demo that connects the sensor dashboard to the cloud. Each device status of the network panel is known by the router. The router sends this pattern information to the cloud to replicate the information on a web user interface through the cellular modem. This is a Murata modem is based on ALT-1250 radio that supports both KTM and NB-IoT. It also features an embedded SIM from ST, the ST33G. The brain of the module is an STM32L4 ultra-low power MCU. Being able to pilot locally the network with a mobile is one part of the demo interest. Then, going further in the framework, it might be also expected to screen the status of each device for somewhat remotely connected or for an autonomous cloud service. So I've shown you our demo. So how do we see this type of technology mix working in the Internet of Things? Well, many technologies are commonly used and combined simultaneously as shown in this demo. And such coexistence will increase with the IoT expansion. Final application usage must be kept simple to ensure end user adoption. This is why solutions must be proposed to leverage the complexity of managing all those technologies as a whole. 
Many different industrial actors today are aware of this need and projects like CHIP, recently announced within the Zigbee Alliance, is addressing such paradigm and proposed to build a unified management for IP-oriented technologies. ST Microelectronic is supportive of the CHIP project and also proposed solutions with an enlarged perimeters, as we can see today through this Zigbee and BLE to cloud connectivity demonstration. I've just shown you the demo with Zigbee and BLE to cloud. This setup emulates a BLE connected ring bell transmitting video and audio. When presence is detected thanks to a time of flight sensor, the camera and microphone are turned on and start streaming both audio and video data towards the cold receiver, which is in our case a mobile phone with dedicated apps. Once the person is identified, the gate can be open from the mobile. It triggers the camera and the mic to be turned off, waiting for next visit. How are we bringing audio and video streaming over BLE? Well, to achieve this impressive streaming, we take benefits of the dual-core architecture of the STM32WB with an M4 application processor able to acquire and process large amount of data before sending them to the BLE radio M0 Plus processor. The combination of our BLE stack efficiency to reduce latency in continuous data flow in addition to the 2 megabit per sample feature from the Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0 allows to reach audio and video streaming simultaneously with nice motion and user experience. Now, to go into more detail about the video resolution, frame per second and audio quality, the video is in motion JPEG format with a resolution of 320 per 240 pixels. The audio chain is first acquired by ST microphone, then treated by the STM32WB55M4 application processor, thanks to the Opus codec with a bitrate of 16 kilobit per second. This audio setup is based on an available STM32 cube function pack for STM32WB MCU. This function pack is also contains other applications like receiving stereo music, at 48 kHz or full duplex audio streaming over Bluetooth 5.0 using Opus codec and is available on our website, st.com. And you might be wondering what's next in, our, in this story. Bluetooth low energy standard is evolving fast on audio features, still creating new use cases to provide more quality and flexibility in IoT. Our roadmap is definitely focused on offering such features, answering to the market evolution. So now let's go back to Chris and Hakim. Thank you, Natalie. So Chris, at ST, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna extend our uh, offer for now. First, we're gonna push the boundary of the existing technologies like we did with uh, the video streaming of a BLE, which is the world first. Right after this, uh, we're gonna offer to our customer new technologies and uh, we're gonna focus on other technologies that are existing today. Okay, Hakeem, thanks very much. So for everyone watching, where do they find out more? Very easy. You go on st.com slash stm32wireless webpage. Easy as that. Thanks, Hakeem. You're welcome. <laughs>